I know how Steam works. Still the eternal struggle though, man. Oh yeah, me too. I play the same games over and over again all the time. I play FF7 casually at least once a year. make that jump. Now the swim of shame instead. Gore and cannoli. <laughs> okay. Sure. Ah, missed. All right, troll bird, please. for the sweet jump, even though I don't know how to do it. Hey, that didn't work at all. Whatever. Pack up strats it is. Legumes. Oh, I don't have the wrong Kong. Oh, I forgot the Kong switch. Pretty sure I Kong switch here. Oh no, I can't. This is the barrel one. What's Guns Gore and Cannoli about? What type of game is that? Sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah! You gotta be kidding me, man. This is so very bad. I'm still learning that strat. Let's not be bad. This is where it actually gets kind of tough. Not really, but... No idea how I overshot that, but I did. I always get stuck in that corner anyway, there's really no reason for me to try and do the fast strat there. Uh, when you forget where you're going. It's all good, there's a DK barrel right here, and I need to have Dixie out anyway. What? No way. No way, dude. No way. Close rats. Take strats. Well, I do need to have Diddy in front here anyway. Now this is where I got trolled last run. Like really 
mega trolled. Mega trolled. I, knew, I saw it coming to you, I was like, oh boy. Whatever. More practice. Bounce off that guy and hit these two as well. Don't know it exactly though.
Ooh, ooey. Actually, kind of proud of that one. It wasn't too terrible. I've also never had two Kongs here before, so I'm not really sure what to do. <laughs> I'm actually not fast enough to hit these frame perfect. I always try though. damage boost you can do here to um, get this whole part. Or we're too vanilla for stuff like that. That was definitely the best Bramble Blast I've ever had. By far. Oh my god, that was amazing. I'm very proud of that. Forgot to Kong switch though. Way. Are you kidding? PB, please. That must have been the only time I've ever had a Deathless Crankway. Ever. Go. 
That's worth the time lost, actually. Bros, Pixie Bros. Strats here today. Sorry, guys.
gonna be a bitch and get that shit. Gonna be a bitch and wait for the first one. Oh shit, I made it. Yeah, it's pretty hard, and I'm not even doing it close to well. That was interesting. Definitely no Final Fantasy VIII in terms of difficulty. <laughs> FFA is just remembering stuff and getting good luck. This is actual, like, timing and all that. Like, hitting that guy is only like a six frame window, maybe. Sounds like a lot, but it's not. Be sure you don't hit him. Too long and you die. And you bounce off. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me, man. Oh, good lord. sure what to do here, so I just kind of wing it. Peppa. That might be the first time I've made it through there without getting hit. The 
cool throw you can do here to save a whole bunch of time and a lot of pain and pain in the acidness, but I don't know how to do the cool team throws yet. I have no idea how that worked. Always wait. Yeah, fucking honey, dude. Especially with Dixie, it's it's a really hard thing to be good at. Almost made it. Watch this shit. See if I can get it here too. All the drugs. Hello. Hello, hello. I was facing the wrong way! Still facing the wrong way. Oh, I'm so bad right now. That's fine. Ah, I missed it. Supposed to be is the operative word. Alright, that was pretty good placement. Except I'm still Diddy. So I get the long animation. This is probably my favorite level in the game. This is the one I know how to do the fastest. Yeah, I love the soundtrack of this game. Uh, what's the dude's name? Like David something or other? It's fucking amazing. He did, he did all of them. All three, anyway. Super Nintendo ones. Thank <laughs> you. 
still bad at this one, so I have to super pay attention. Every fucking time, man. Every fucking time, good lord. Oh, even the last Wii U one, nice. I love David Wise, he's awesome. That, that was me being really used to hitting that first B. And not knowing what to do after actually making it past the first B. Is what that is. See? Like every goddamn time. Oh, it's so frustrating. Those are actually really tight jumps too. Soundtrack will take you to a bonus. But you can't die on, so it wastes like 40 seconds. I've done that by accident. <laughs> Actually, so. Oh, good, I missed the con barrel. back half of that level, relatively speaking. Now one can do this in a really awesome way that I don't know how to do. Casual scratch way. get you some food. Oh, 
to do the casual way, so I ain't even mad. That was close, though. Was a really tight window. So close. Thank <laughs> you. 
I do remember this level pretty well usually, so I'm not able to do this one pretty fast, relatively speaking. Dixie's hitboxes are weird on that. Now it's gonna be a lot tougher. More used to Diddy's hitbox. Lynch. Oh boy. Oh shit, no. Fuck. Kill myself. Gotta kill myself here. You gotta have two Kongs in order to be able to do the glitch here, so. Oh, what the fuck, man. We head back to Arctic Abyss. Quick. This is going to be difficult, but I'm going to give it a shot. In fact, I'm going to keep trying, because it's actually going to be worth it if I get it. Even if it takes me a second try. The point of killing both of the, uh, the guy on the left is so if the screen doesn't slow down when the other guy shows up. Oh, now I'm nervous. You'll see. Yeah! I 
did it! Sweet! Oh, that's so awesome! I've never pulled that off in a run! Oh, I'm so happy right now. You have no idea, bros. Yep, uh, you get what's called the, uh, and you get the, uh, invisible barrel, which basically, like, screws with the memory of the game a bit. I don't claim to know exactly how it works, I just know that it does. Yeah, it's nice. I always forget that I can make that. Ah! There's a DK barrel right up here, though. Means I have to wait. These guys. Why? Ugh. I hate that just happens sometimes. Uh, always save barrel. I've gotten those jumps, and now this fucking part. Good. Great. Chicken dinner. I gained three and a half minutes by getting that. I think it might be even more. It's a lot. A lot. Also, a really cool way to do rattly here that I don't know how to do. It involves the double jumps. I still can't get that most of the time, some of the time. I also really remember how to do this one as well, so... At least with this part. I've practiced this level a lot with my casual strats. We're 
Okay, please. Someone would ordinarily just take a hit there to get through those three bees, but those, those bees control me because I'm bad. God damn it, man. Yeah, it's like a shit ton of time. It's a few minutes. Because you're basically not doing two thirds of the level. So, free time. I can also save a lot of time by not dying to K. Rule. Which has been happening a lot lately. I go fast. Fuck. Uh, we'll see. Let's not count chickens. Could always, uh, infinite.
What? Yeah, bitch. Oh yeah, that PB. PB, PB, PB hype, PB hype. That'll be enough speed games for today. Got that PB hype. PB hype. -y. One hour, here we come. <laughs> yep, yep. There was a minute and a half to save in the first two worlds. Yeah, it can't be a gold split because I didn't split on Screech. It would be a gold split though, definitely for sure. Well, no. Because when I actually beat K Rule on time, Pretty consistent. But yeah. Thanks, dude. Sub one hours next. Four minutes of time to save. That means I have to start learning some wrong warps. And get the right cart. Uh, I'm playing on an emulator and I don't have the right version. If you have 1.0, you can do a whole bunch of, or, 1.1. Whichever one I don't have is the one that you can do wrong warps in. That's the only one, um, the, uh... Oh, no, that doesn't count as a wrong warp, never mind. Yeah, the other version I, uh, that I don't have is the only one that can do wrong warps. This one you soft lock. It's actually surprising you can still do the goal summon in, um... Castle Crush. But yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cut stream. Thanks to everybody that, that watched. Uh, I'm gonna go watch Kynos if you, uh, if you would like to join me. Not a raid or anything, just... I mean, we got six people, isn't really much of a raid. <laughs> Yeah, definitely true. Definitely true. I mean, I had, I had probably four deaths, and if I got rid of those four deaths, it'd be close, but there's a lot of strats that I just don't know how to do. Like, I could probably save a minute on um, Toxic Tower, just from the Rattly jumps. Definitely at least 30 seconds. Yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you.
people who, you know, are close to the world record, it's like, it gets exponentially hard to save that little bit of time once you get better and better. I'll definitely get a good time. I want to get sub 45 eventually, or at least sub 50. Sub 50 is definitely possible if you aren't like killing yourself to do a to do everything really well every time. It's definitely a respectable time too, if you get sub 50. I think the world record's like 42 or 43 or something. Is that, um, is that Void or is that the Claude? Or the, the Claude, Claude. <laughs> I think, I think Void cut the Claude. I can't remember though. Uh, this leaderboard is probably more accurate. Oh, I thought they had a leaderboard. I guess they don't. Oh, no, they do. Uh, yeah, Void cut the Claude. Void has a 40-35, Claude has a 40-37. I mean, sub-45 would be best, but I, I can settle for, um... I can definitely settle for sub-50. pretty intensive guide here and it's actually kept pretty well up to date. This is like one of the best um, the best run uh, community sites. The Final Fantasy speedruns is a close second but Final Fantasy speedruns doesn't always have a guide on it. The Final Fantasy 8 one's actually pretty old. Probably a year or two old. Or, no. At least nine months old. It's before um, people started doing... Uh, before they started predicting the... Um, Galbadia code or whatever. Healing City code. All 
right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, Pony. Thanks uh, again for the follow, War Weenie. I'm sh I don't think you're here anymore. Now nah, you left. All right, see you guys. I'll be back tomorrow, uh, pretty early. I think. I think the uh, I think the race is starting at 8 a.m. Eastern. Um, I think it's like 1 p.m. GMT or something like that. So I'm gonna be up pretty early for that. It's gonna be intense. Intense. Alright, see you tomorrow.